Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. We're doing paid review 24 QA 27. Guys, let's run the intro and then we'll discuss watches. Quick wrist watch check. I'm wearing a bluesy two tone sub marina ceramic. Okay, guys, let's start the intro. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel, wearing the bluesy, bluesy today. We're doing paid review, 24QA27. This is for Andrew. He says, hi Archie, my name is Andrew and I've been a fan of your channel for the last six years. I wanted to share with you my watch story as well as get your advice on what I've done and what I should get next hope this email isn't too long i've sent you 153 australian 100 us dollars uh take your time no rush i started getting to watches when i started my career in the finance industry in my early 20s here in sydney i noticed all the top performers wore watches so the first watch i bought was a seiko prospects srpe 93k then I started earning okay money. My brother then introduced me to your videos. And the first watch I bought was the Amiga Speedmaster Hasselite Manual Wind Big Box. Man on the Viking Moon, which I bought in nine, 2018 at an AD in Martin Place for 5000 with a great discount. I then bought a Tudor Black Bay 41 Heritage Smooth Bezel Smiley Face. Omega Seamaster 300 Professional Ceramic Wave Dial Black. Uh, on bracelet, a Tudor Royal, all with great discounts at ADs. I've since sold my Speedy for more than what I got for, got it for in 2023. Um, as as although I love the watch, I wish I bought the Sapphire as I wear my watches lovingly without babing them. And the Hesalite has always was always something I was scared to get damaged in it. And I, it frequently did. I also wanted the money to fund other watches. I also sold my Tudor Black Bay 41 and Tudor Royal for luckily slightly more than what I bought them for. Jesus, you're, you're lucky because the market has turned. The market has turned on these sort of watches, which it's just the facts of life. It's the facts, facts of life there. But uh, what can I say? He sold them for slightly more than what I bought them for to buy a nicer car and some holidays. Wow, fuck. Uh, as recent as of recent, my collection has been. Okay, he's got some pictures. Here. He's got a 2000. Let's have a look at this here. Let's see what we have in the collection. He's got a 2019. Uh, it's quite a nice photo here. Let's get this baby up on the screen. Let's get her up. Let's get this baby up. It's a 2019 Omega. Omega. Let's call this up here. Omega Seamaster 300 Professional Ceramic Wave Dial. Bought at an AD, same one as the Speedy, in 2019 for 5K. My beta for five years. Now, now, what I don't understand is it goes on and on and on and on and on, but he sold these fucking things. Um, okay, so I don't know why he tells me every fucking thing about them, but that's okay. I live an adventurous life, and this has been all over the world. It's due for a service, and I got quoted one and a half thousand from Omega to get it done, done with a re replacement crystal. It'll take eight to get it back from. 
it will also take eight to 12 months to get it back from them. Fuck, that's slow. And he's got a 2022 Tudor Black Bay GMT Steel and Gold. Bought grey market for 4000 I always wanted to get one. Couldn't justify the 9000 retail asking price, especially since Tudors don't do well. I think they do discount now. The whole market's slow. Now, I don't know why he goes on about this. He goes, then, then he got a 2023 Tudor. Oh, this is his collection. That's what. Well, no, it's not his collection because he sold these fucking things. So that's the. Oh, that's actually quite a nice photo. Isn't that a nice Tudor GMT two tone? Lovely. Then he had a Tudor Black Bay 59. Sorry, Black Bay. What did he have? He, oh, this is it here. Fuck. Okay. Uh, okie dokie. Oh, okay. Uh, let's have a look here. What's he got? Just having a look here. Uh, he says to me, he, it's a little bit strange here. He says to me, he's got a Tudor Black, oh, Black Bay 39. Okay, fair, fair enough there. Black Bay 39. Let's pull that up on the screen now let's get this baby up on the screen oh here it was there we go it was on this okay here we go get her up on the screen uh it was off the s link bracelet bought it retail tutor stopped giving out discounts and i wanted a date just i got a call for a date just a month after getting this and this was the one watch i lost money on not too much okay i don't know why he tells me war and peace because he doesn't own these fucking things then he's got a 2024 He's got a 2024 uh, Rolex Wimbledon, 41 Wimbledon on Jubilee and smooth bezel. Got it from an AD um, in 2024 January. Although I liked my recent collection, I found that it didn't give each watch equal time, especially after getting the Rolex. I would force myself to wear the other watches. I'm 30 years old, starting a small family and have just, Purchased an apartment with my partner. My priorities and tastes have changed. And as I mature, quality over quantity matters more. Okie dokie. Um, I have since sold my Seamaster. Well, I don't understand why you fucking gave me a fucking paragraph about it if you've sold it. Got a lot more than I paid for it without needing a service or repair. The Tudor GMT got slightly more than what I paid for it. And the Tudor 39 got fucked. Yes, of course, that's an ugly watch. Uh, but the other watches, the GMT and the Seamaster made up for it. And since, and have since ordered a new Rolex Explorer 140 mil, which is coming from Melbourne. I purchased this from a grey market de dealer here in Sydney for a great price. So now I have a two-piece collection of my Rolex Datejust and Rolex Explorer One. Do you think I made the right choice? Right choice here, consolidating my watch collection and sticking to Rolex. You know what? I think you're over analyzing this shit. Fuck me, dead. You, you're a high flyer in finance. I'll be honest with you. It's not that fucking successful. If you're gonna sell your fucking Tudor and a fucking Omega. Uh, nothing wrong with buying Rolex, but fuck me, dead. You make it seem like these are just middle class pieces. They're not super achiever pieces. They're good watches, but fuck. I don't understand why you gave me war and peace about it if you fucking sold them. Do you think I made the right choice? I think a losers sell things when they should keep them. I would have just kept them. Did, did you really need the money like that? Just put it on a fucking credit card. Uh, he got rid of the Amiga, the Tudor Black Bay, and the Tudor. Yeah, okay, fair enough. The Tudor, Tudor GMT, Tudor Black Bay, and the Amiga. Okay. Um, do you think I made the right choice consolidating? I, I would have kept them all. Why? Why do you have to sell your shit? It's a sign of poverty if you need to sell your shit to buy the next thing. I, I would have kept them as a growing collection. Are you that hard up? You I don't know. I just, just think it's it's not the way I would have done it. Um, also, what should I get next? Well, 
it's it's i try and get you got a day just explorer one i try and get a some sort of gmt rolex a, you know like a pepsi a batman a batgirl maybe an explorer 2 and a submariner that's what i do i love the explorer 2 but the newer 42 fits too big on my wrist which is a massive shame. Okay, well, go for the GMTs then. They're hard to get. I haven't tried on the older 40 mil, but I am open to it. I'm also thinking of going for a Rolex Submariner, no date, bluesy, or a GMT Master 2. I want to keep the collection at three or four watches max. Aside from Rolex, what other brands do you recommend? I don't think buying and selling these things is the really the, the way to make money or do things. I would just three-piece collection i'd just stick with rolex rolex and then well you had a speedy you, you sold the fucking thing you sold the fucking thing you sold it um aside from well as a amiga i, I like Amiga. You, you bought and sold tudor if you can't afford rolex Getting into a brand that I can easily get out of matters to me as I learned with the loss I made on yeah well well fuck me dead it, it it's a yeah I, I i don't i i i would say thank you for your time and advice archie okay so this was this was his um look i gotta be totally honest with you man seriously i would say to you and i love you stick to rolex you got a rolex date just you got an explorer one just stick to rolex okay you start, you gotta, if you're gonna buy, like I love Breitling, I think Breitling is a magic brand, but you gotta buy that pre owned, otherwise, you'll be handed your asshole on a plate. Okay, you can't buy that shit new. Tuna, Tuna's turned, it's turned, and Amiga, Amiga's turning as well. So, my advice to you would be to stick to Rolex. If I were you, I would try and build a little collection. If you wanna have a small collection, you got a Datejust, you got a Sports in the Explorer 1. You want to get some sort of Rolex Diver and you want to get some sort of GMT. And if you really see, you already had the Omega Speedy. I'd, I'd add a Speedy because the Daytonas are so expensive. That's what I would try and build a little collection there. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would be doing. Uh, now, you also, you also just told me in an email you sent after this you told me i always like these sort of emails here where you give me a bit more insight to the individual who collects these things and what you told me was you've also started your own little vlog uh it's called working man life lifestyle Let's have a look. Working Man Lifestyles. You've got a YouTube channel. Um, okay, it's a, it's a YouTube. You've got a YouTube channel. Working Man Lifestyle. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look, hey? What do you reckon? Let's have a look. We'll just call this up and have a look. You're an Aldi man. I love a nice Aldi. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look. So check it out, guys. I'll put a link. I'll put a link below. Working man lifestyle. You got a few videos there. You got a video on the Rolex Explorer One. You, okay, there's a few, fair few videos. Oh, that, those are shorts. And you got a video. Oh, look, let's have a let's have a look here. Wow, it's got some. There we go. So, you've got some interesting video. Go, Working Man Lifestyle. Check it out. I'll put a link below. Actually, I'll link to his channel. I'll put a link in the corner. I'll put a link in the corner as well. Good on you. Good on you for trying, man. Um, good on you indeed. Yeah, I, if I were you, I'd stick to Rolex. Stick to Rolex. That's the safest 
the best way to go. And good luck uh, on the uh, the channel there. What other shit has he got? What's he got here? He's got one on his. Let's have a look at his. Where's it playing at? Oh, because I'm in the wrong fucking module. I'm in the wrong module. Oh, it's interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'd, um, I'd, that's a good, good channel there. Check it out, guys. Working Man Lifestyle. Guys, that's the review for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Remember, if you're in America and you want to buy or sell a watch, I recommend David SW. Guys, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. <clears throat> I desperately need some more paid reviews. Paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Without paid reviews, I cannot survive. Okay, guys, let's run the advert. Hi, guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.